In this video, I'm going to go over constants in C. So constants are some value denoted with some identifier that are not going to change while a program is running. And there's actually two ways to do constants in C. One way is using what's called the preprocessor define statement. So I can say here number define length 10. And what's going to happen is I'm going to have a constant length that is set to the value 10. And what that means is I can use length wherever I would have used the value 10 in my program. So for example, I could make an array of length 10, and I can use length where I would have used 10 previously. I could print out the value. So I could say like array length percent D, and I could print out length, and that's okay too. I could use length as part of a loop, maybe to determine when to stop the loop. So let's maybe make a function to print out the array. And what I'll do is I'm gonna use the length to actually determine when the loop should stop. So I'm gonna say here void, print array, int star array. And what I'll do is I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, and then I'm gonna print out the array values here. So I'll say print f, and I'll just print out all the array values. I'll just say array percent d is equal to percent d, and I'll output i and array at i, so we get a nice printout of the array. And then I could call this function, and this function is gonna use length as well, because we can use length wherever we could have used the value 10. So I could call print array to print out the array here now. And if we run this here, we're gonna find that it'll all work okay. So I'm gonna compile it here, I'm gonna run it here, and we get array length of 10, and we get all the array values printed out because length is being used successfully here to print out array values from zero up until, but not including 10. And so this is one kind of constant in C, length. Now, the way that this kind of constant works is it's using the define preprocessor statement. So the preprocessor is one of the first sort of phases in the compilation of a C program. So it's one of the first things that happens. And what actually happens is that the preprocessor goes through your code and it replaces length, wherever length is, with the value here, 10. And that's what's going to happen with these preprocessor constants like this defined using the define statement is that the preprocessor goes through your code and it's as if it just sort of went through it all and replaced the value length or the, the, the identifier length with the value 10. And that's one kind of constant in C. Now, the other kind of constant is a constant variable. So the way these work are like this, and I'm actually just gonna, we'll get rid of this because we don't really need that there. I'll get rid of this here. And I'm gonna show you how to do a constant variable now. So, and we'll get rid of this here too, actually. We don't need that either, not really. So we're still gonna call print array, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define a constant variable. And the constant variable is actually going to not change while, while our program is running, but it's actually gonna be declared and initialized just like a regular variable. So I'm going to say here, const int length is equal to 10. And then I'm going to use length here. So let's clear this. And now let's try to run this here. So let's just recompile it here. And then we'll try to run it. And it works fine. So what const means is you cannot change the value of this variable once it's been set. You can initialize it once when you declare it. And then after that, it's done. You can't change it again. So if I tried to alter length after this declaration and initialization, it's not going to work. I can say here like length is equal to length plus five. And the compiler is not going to like this. So I'll clear and we'll try to run it here. We'll try to compile it here. And I get error cannot assign to variable length with const qualified type const int. So once we've set it, we can't change it. And that's like a that's the that's the purpose of this const is that it's making it so that we can't change this variable once we've set it. So this is another way of achieving constant variables in C. Now some interesting things with this type of const, with this type of constant value. So one thing I could do is I could actually have a another parameter here, size. And I'll add it down here too. And one thing I can do that's interesting is I could actually set length to size. So this is kind of an interesting thing we can do is that even though this is a constant variable, I can actually set it 
to something that is going to change from function call to function call. So for example, like I could call this print array with this array that is length 10, and I could give it a size here, 10 as an argument. But let's say I make another array now. I'll make another array B. So I'll make an array B, and I'm going to make this one 11. So I'm going to say 10 here, and I'm going to make this size 11. And I'll just, I'll just throw a printf here just so we can see the kind of the two printouts separately. But if I run this here now, it's going to be okay. So I run this here and I get that, you know, the first array printed out from zero to nine, and then this array printed out from zero to 10. And what's interesting is that even though this is a constant variable, we're setting it at runtime it's called. So we've compiled the program and we're calling the function twice with different numbers for size. And we're setting this constant variable at runtime. Whereas that define statement up here, like length, define length here, this was being set at what's called compile time in the sense that when the program is running, we can't change this. We set it once as we're writing the program. In other words, at compile time, but we can't change it as the program is running. Whereas with this one here, what's interesting is that we can change it as the program is running. We can change it at runtime. And that's just kind of interesting. That's just kind of interesting because it is a difference between the two. So one thing with const as well, and, and constant variables here, as opposed to the define approach, is that we actually get sort of all the benefits of having a variable. So one of the benefits we get is, is scope. So this length variable only exists within this function here. So it only exists within the function. It doesn't exist outside of it. Like if I try to say length here, it's not going to work. I could say like length plus plus, and it's not even gonna, the compiler's you know gonna cry foul about that because it's gonna say like, this doesn't exist here, like undeclared identifier length. It's saying it doesn't exist here basically. And that's because this length variable here has the scope of this function and that's it. So that's another thing that's interesting about constant variables as opposed to using the define preprocessor statement is the define preprocessor statement, we could use that constant all over our file. Whereas with a constant variable, it has a scope. And we actually oftentimes like having identifiers with a scope. We often try to avoid things with global scope and programming because they can make our program more difficult to debug. Now, because our constants defined with a define statement are only read only, it's not so bad. But having a constant variable with a scope is still advantageous in terms of making our program easier to understand. So just one thing I should point out though with these constant variables. So one thing you can't do is this. If I said here, if I said this, if I said const int and I'm gonna say len is equal to 10, I can do this and I can give this variable scope over the file. So like this variable len, this is going to have scope over the entire file. So I could use it in the main function. I could use it in the print function. So I could say here, I could say here, print F and I could say len percent D and this variable will exist here. So we can compile this here. We can run it and we get len 10. What I can't do here with this, this, this scope here, is if I say here like int x is equal to five, I can't say const in len is equal to x. It'll actually complain about this. The compiler won't like this. It'll say initializer element is not a compile time constant. So when you have variables with this scope outside of a function, and it's gonna have a global scope, in that case, you actually have to initialize the variable to a constant value. And that's just a thing in C. It's just a rule we have to follow. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.